as I'll ever be. All right, so these are presentations for Dashboard Week Day 4, where they had to visualize some um, food ingredients, or not ingredients, uh, nutrition data in foods from the USDA website. So we will start, we'll go left to right here. So Mina, you can go first. Okay. Thank you, presenter. Morning all, I had the task of parsing out this for Doritos. So as you can see, I originally started doing this with Parsa and uh, I, I got it to work and you can you can see the logic of, of it running, but when I actually do a, a real run, it, it doesn't work the same. So I've asked about this and apparently it's a common problem. Um, I'm not really sure how to fix it, but you can see it goes through, it finds a table, it takes a table, moves on to the next page, so on and so forth. So that was really cool. I've never used Parsa uh, before this project, and now I know how to use it. Uh, in the end, obviously I couldn't use this because it didn't really return to me what I wanted it to. It just kept taking the same table over and over again. But I did make one Parsa to take all the links, and I used that in all tricks instead. So I should then have my little clothes. Uh, all inks because I just didn't care about fixing those spelling. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's an Elena trick, isn't it? A little bit. Oh, well, if it decides not to open, I'll just show my final workflow. All it is is basically some download tools for the links, and then I outputted them to a, a download file. So I then went down the route of just taking the HTML. Oh, all tricks is really being slow this morning. Um, I went down the route of taking the HTML and just parsing it out with regex, I found that easier than trying to get the uh, CSV download links, which is uh, the routes that other people have taken this time around. I just go ahead and drag this down. So you basically downloaded the web page for each one then? Yeah. Okay. I'll have to run it. <clears throat> so yeah, I, I have just a list of all the links here, 300 links, uh, and then it just runs through all of this. It will output it because I have it open. But, uh, you know, I get my typical download data, and then I can just regex to get a particular part. So in this case, I think I was trying to get the title or something, and I'm not sure. Okay, so you split it up into multiple parts. So. Yeah. Okay. So here, you know, here's the title. So I've got, like, the Taco Bell bean burrito, so on and so forth. Up at the top part, I get all the elements. So I get, like, the energy, the unit, and how much in a particular, like, the particular good, and then how much per 100 grams. So all of my data, I just take the 100 grams because that's the only comparable part of it. Um, yep. And then I've had to, you know, do some stuff and cross-tab it to get all the headers. And then I get all the headers. So then I visualize this in Tableau, and I really, really just, I don't know, I, did, I couldn't find any inspiration for this. So I just literally looked for the most interesting named burrito, and this is what I found. So I kind of just went with the most interesting name burrito. I tried to look for interesting ingredients as well, but apparently burritos are pretty boring for ingredients. That's not it, man. So, uh, yeah, I this is definitely my uh, least favorite dashboard of the week, but I've just gone with a nice, like, bright... So Lighten Up is the name of the burrito? Yep, Lighten Up. Oh, and so it is which, quite light. I yeah, mean, compared, yeah it's, it's low on the scale, so that's good, right? Yeah, it's got high fiber, which is, I guess, good for a breakfast burrito, but, um, you know, I mean, it, it's, it, it uh, serves its purpose, so I think on my, when I published it, I called it the very functional, functional burrito, and... <laughs> Pretty much sums up the story of this. What's the what's the one on the upper right? The one that has the most energy. Well, uh, on the it's like here. Yeah, so yeah, that fast food burrito, well, the Taco Bell's oh, okay. up there. Taco Bell, yeah. yeah, so many calories. Yeah, Taco yeah. Bell there. Yeah. And which one has Taco the highest Bell. sugar? So the highest sugar is there. So this would be here. Root beer, barbecue, pulled pork burritos. Oh, or, God, that's so what does it even mean? Or still the same. This, this <laughs> one just has a lot of everything. This fast food is just oh, generic God, fast food. That's horrible. No. Yeah, that's. Man, it tastes good. Yeah. <laughs> it's got no actual real food in it, probably. Yeah. That's cool. That looks neat. Yeah. yeah. It looks really um, good. I really didn't like it when I made it, though. Um, it's okay. Really <laughs> You're not always going to like the data you work with, right? Well, uh, yeah. And it gets late. I just yeah, yeah I couldn't exactly. I just couldn't find an inspiration for a that story. Looks good. Good, good job. Well done. Good yeah. job. Yeah. All right. Marcus. That's a little left. Yeah. Only extremes. You love going low. Never middle of the pack. And the last again. Yeah. Could go across. Oh yes, please. Can we yeah. Say? yeah. Right. Um <laughs> so I was tasked with uh, finding uh, various different sodas. 
uh, but instead I opted to go for colas. Um, right. Because soda kept bringing up sort of all different Like baking types soda. Of, yeah. And, yeah. So you had all cooking ingredients in there rather than drinks. Um, yeah, so we got it from this website here. So based on the search results, uh, I had 457 different foods to use. Uh, Alex introduced me to a nice tool called Linkipper, which sort of gives you mm. the hyperlink to every uh, oh, that's on cool. the web page. Yeah, and what it does is when you click extract all links, it chucks it straight into an Excel file like this here. Wow. Sort of similar in this format. Well, that's super handy. Yeah, so. <laughs> so <laughs> it's what the pro is. Did Alex only yeah. share that idea no, with I one person? He said it out loud. He said it out loud. He now it's everyone, but they all went down the pass up route. Well, I'll just take the whole table, not just the link. The link takes a few seconds here. Well, you did that, so you clicked it. No, but then you still get the same results. That's pretty cool. This is my way of doing it, which I found best for me. The only downside was it took two links for every item. Right, because it's in two places in the page. Yeah, so. You just have to unique them all, right? Yeah, exactly. So. Once I had it downloaded, um, I went into all tricks and used my cleanup tool. Here we go. Oh, well, at least I learned something. You can't yeah. use yourself so you didn't use that? Oh, yeah, no, our method is, is archaic. Definitely more, <laughs> definitely more efficient, though. <laughs> I learned a lot. I learned stuff. I did things. That there are already tools for Yeah, so um, in all tricks, I. I've got this disabled at the moment, I don't want to keep downloading all the CSV. So what I've done in Portrait is uploaded the actual document, mm -hmm. um, done a split, made it unique, yep. uh, assigned it a unique number, and started. So a, a consistent thing I found within the tables was that wherever a new table started, there was always a space between each one. So I've done it. So I said unique, so it starts at every space. Okay. So anything from the space starts will give you unique. Mm -hmm. um, I used the formula tool to sort of create the download link. Yep. So adding this onto the end of it allowed me to download it. Like CSVs, right? Yeah. And also setting the file location for it where I wanted it to be saved to. Okay. When it downloads. Yep. Yeah. And then this nice tool here, I recently found out about, um, called Throttle. So the issue I had was trying to download it all from the website was that it kept giving me an error message because I was trying to download too much in one go. Okay. So I'd say one in every four files came back as an error, um, even though I was still trying to download it. But it's because I was, I was hitting the server too hard. Okay. Whereas this tool allows you to set how many records you want to download per minute. Oh, cool. Um, how did you find out about that tool? Uh, Pete, uh, yeah, Peter okay. told me about it, yeah. And yeah, so you set that. I found, so it took a bit of trying and error to find sort of the right So that number. basically iterates through that. Oh no, it's doing it per minute. Okay. Yeah, so it's similar to the um, wait a minute tool. <laughs> so if you pass it 400 links, it'll do, it'll take it eight minutes to wrap. Yeah. yeah. And so I had to do a bit of trying and error to make sure to see how many will download before it's like giving errors. Sure. Yeah. And 50 seemed to be like the perfect okay. number, so it didn't take too long. Uh, downloaded it into that file. So once that ran, you'll see in here. It downloaded every single CSV. Oh, cool! So each one of these CSVs is right. the actual, and then matches the, the number, right? Yeah. So yeah, once that downloaded, mm -hmm. we had. So I needed to clean it all up into sort of a consistent type layout, mm -hmm. and so my workflow for cleaning it all up. Yeah. So yeah, so it's bringing it in, skipping on rows, splitting it so that I can get the actual uh, product names. Yep. And then dynamic renaming, so I gave it a title, remove sort of speech marks, assign a unique number to it, filter out anything that had like certain names in there that I didn't want. So you can see down here we had like common name, mm -hmm. we had nutrient. So these were like the row labels where I didn't need them. So okay. yep. done a lot of ands and contains these words. Wasn't there just this, wasn't, but like couldn't you just use the, the column that was the uh, amount per 100 grams and just got rid of the nulls? Um, no, not that. So it was the rows. So there was a lot of... Um, but that's where it has like the word nutrient and then it lists all the ingredients underneath of it? Not in one that oh, has. Oh, okay. Yeah, so each row. So some rows had to report on that. Some had carbonate water. Some had ingredients. Some had common names. Okay. So I had to yeah. sort of use this tool to get rid of them all. Okay. Um, yeah, so once I sort of tidied that up, I had to do another join as well. So I could assign... Uh, what was I bringing in? That's like the name of the product, okay. or the brand product name. Mm -hmm. And again, assigning it a number based on that space, and then joining it all up 
uh, timing it out, replacing the zeros, or replacing the nulls of a zero, mm -hmm. just so I've got some data in there, and also assigning like anything that had uh, a certain unit name, giving it an actual unit. Mm -hmm. So some things had NA, some bits had by difference when it should have been grams. Okay, so a lot of this is just kind of, uh, you probably had to go through and add a lot of things along the way, right? Yeah, yeah. so I was just looking at the list that I had and just kept yeah. putting in copy paste, copy paste, yeah. copy paste, yeah. So you got them all. Yeah. yeah, and then, yeah, exported it to a nice file. So I had every single one of these all in one file, which I was going to use in Tableau. So this is everything in the listed by sort of So that's every possible ingredient for each product. So some of them will have zeros and yeah. yeah. Okay. So for example you've got like Diet Cola here. Um, the brand I'm guessing was like a store brand like Walmart. Yeah. Um, so a lot of them didn't have brand names. They were just like Cola. Yeah. Or Diet Cola. Mm -hmm. But then they came from different companies. And I opted to go for sort of more uh, column heavy on this one. Mm -hmm. As I thought. I'd Instead of flipping it? Yeah, so okay. I, I thought I was going to use it to sort of compare certain uh, mm -hmm. certain, uh, not ingredients, certain uh, nutrients. Yeah. But um, yeah, it turned out a lot of the drinks didn't have like the same nutrients. So yeah. I sort of but they probably things. all had certain things, right? Like, yeah, they all had sugar, sodium, and energy. Yeah. So in my visualization, I chose to go for sugar and energy, and sort of done more of a. But I tried to do an infographic. Um, I sort of ran into an issue where once I had everything in, I sat down for ages thinking, how the hell am I going to create mm -hmm. the vis that I've got? And yeah. So that's where some of the things that Caroline taught would be useful then, right? Yeah, but I mean, it was like really late at night. Okay. I was just at the point where I was just like, you can build office. something, right? Yeah, I wanted to get it done today. Yeah. So I've done my blog before I even done my visualization. <laughs> but um, yeah, so it's not the best, but. I sort of done some research on my, my pictures. Uh, okay, there's meant to be pictures in here too. I've moved them so they've come out. Um, but yeah, so I was just going to look at sort of how bad energy drinks for your health based on yeah. your sugar and energy content. And sort of went online and looked at a few health facts. It's my childhood. I used to drink a lot of fizz drinks in my childhood. So. Explain. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I thought I'd just do sort of a, a simple, I mean I did have plans to do something bigger, but when I was mm -hmm. trying to do it, it just wasn't coming out how I planned it. So you're basically comparing the sugar content to the yeah. energy content, right? Yeah, so you can see sort of drinks have like high amounts of sugar, some drinks have like stupid amount of calories in them. Mm -hmm. So for example, this one here is listed as a no sugar, a sugar free drink, but yeah, it has 42 grams of sugar and over 1,500 calories of energy. Holy so uh, I thought yeah. it might have been an outlier, but after looking into it, you see that it's an energy drink. And Nos, yeah. Yeah, you yeah. see it's an energy Nos drink. zero. So you might call it a zero. It's like a zero meal sugar. Sugar. It's listed as sugar-free even though it has sugar. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. crazy. It's quite a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. There must be a way that they can list it as sugar-free. I think they haven't put sugar yeah. in it, but then the flavonoids and maybe yeah. it's the type of sugar. Yeah, yeah, yeah they use a different name. Yeah. So I thought I'd just list all the drinks in here and you can sort of see mm -hmm. where it starts to jump up from. Look how many there are too. It's yeah. so high. Yeah. Well, I noticed that um, I had a whole lot of dressing. Don't ask. Um, I thought I looked really Oh, it's because it's spelled wrong. Coleslaw. Yeah. <laughs> so it's so it's spelled wrong in the database. So or maybe it's well. not. Maybe it's actually a real <laughs> thing. Coleslaw. Coleslaw. I noticed that. It's the US. Coleslaw. That's pretty cool. Good job. Yeah, so um, <laughs> I guess it was just text boxes. I was planning to sort of go online and pull off some, like, how many times a word comes up, but yeah, yeah but yeah, cool. this is sort of came up with. Good job. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. All right. I had more fun than all drinks about this time. Not last. Oh, yeah. We have to finish in 15 minutes. We don't get stuck by the fire. Um, okay, so it's, uh, so I had to work on um, hot dog data, <laughs> which is absolutely wonderful, amazing. So, <laughs> uh, so at first I tried to use Parse Hub as well with Mina, and again, mine worked when I did test runs, but then when I actually ran it, it only pulled some of the data, so I had to go down another another route. 
And so Lee and I actually, I think, went down the same one, which is probably the worst uh, after seeing your skies. Uh, but so what, it, what we have to do is first go to the actual web page and inspect elements and then pretty much copy this T body. So copy this. And this pretty much any HTML code will have all the individual links for all the products on it. So I had to do that nine times and then paste the HTML because there's nine pages and then copy that code into a notepad to get text files. Uh, so yeah, good start already. So then it was about probably 12 by the time we got to that point. And then, uh, so after I had done that, I went into Alteryx. I put all my text files together. Yeah, it's, I did put 10 input files all in Sorry. there at once. And then it was using a lot of filters, data cleansers, blah, blah, blah to extract just the actual link for the product from that HTML code. So then in the end we had, so I had 480 or so products. So I had one URL, so sort of the base URL for each every single one of my products. Then I needed to do a batch, so that's not even done running, uh, a batch macro that I could then use to pull in the individual CSV files that are attached to each of these products. So it's just a simple macro, and a uh, had to add a wait a second in there because same problem with oh, Marcus. Marcus yeah. yeah, if we called it too quickly, only a few would come back. Mm -hmm. um, so after I had so yours is called wait a second, and yours was called something else. Yeah, yeah the wait a second was a download. It's one from a crew gallery. macro, yeah. Oh, okay. from okay. Okay. So then, yes, yeah, so that would just so then that's the actual macro. So I, I wanted to run out on white thing so long this time, but yeah. So it's just simple macro. See, these are all the links I pulled. That's the mm -hmm. macro doing the download, and that allowed me by the about 3 p.m. to get here. Yay, wonderful. Um, and so what this has is, um, so yeah, just all the CSVs in there. Mm -hmm. So actually I thought, oh wow, this data looks really clean. This shouldn't be too complicated. And actually it took all of this to get something usable out of it. Um, so yeah, it's kind of the same as market, just a lot of filters to get rid of rows I didn't want. So yeah, first just doing some uh, text to rows, split to rows, and then just a lot of, yeah, just filters everywhere Lots getting rid of words yeah exactly on the phone. yeah so at the end so so at this point i thought oh this is great i'm pretty much there uh, so i had my yeah my nutrients the unit the value per 100 grams and the problem is that a lot of these hot dog names came like this so there was just the name but then all this extra information as well so I, when i put it into tableau it just looked really yeah it just didn't work so to get rid of them i had to use a lot of find and replace so I had to manually find the hot dogs that because all of them were formatted differently, so it wouldn't make sense to do split to columns or whatever. So I had to do a find replace. What you do is you take a, take a text file, and you pretty much tell it find the first field, and then when you find it, replace it with the second field. And so I had to do that for all the individual hot dogs for which the names were broken. So thankfully there weren't too many. And in the end, I ended up with this. Um, so yeah, just my the ingredients, which is also funny. One of them only had water listed as an ingredient. <laughs> uh, that's pretty weird. And yeah, so just the product it's name. Super wet hot dog. Yeah. Hot dog water. Um, yeah, so just a product value per hundred grams, a unit, nutrient, and yeah. Mm -hmm. So so then it was about seven p.m. <laughs> uh, and so yeah, so what I wanted to do pretty much was so at first I had really no idea what I wanted to build. Uh, what I ended up choosing was to try and figure out how many hot dogs of each brand you would need to eat to meet your daily nutrient intake for each of the different nutrients. Um, and so what I had to do, so because I didn't actually have that data built in, I had to manually build a calculation for each one. So I went online and found the actual nutrient recommended amount for each one and then divided it by the nutrient count in each hot dog. So I did that. Why for, did you put that in? Like an Excel sheet, just bring it all for Excel. I could have, but honestly, it was really late, and it only took me about five minutes to actually okay. do this. So, and so then I just have this this one massive parameter right. calc that just okay. has all of them. Yep. And so the final dashboard just looks like this. That's so because you structured the data, unlike me and Marcus, has put it just in one column. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you just have to deal with massive parameters. Um, but yeah, so so it's just really simple. So it's a lollipop chart, and the lolly is a hot dog, obviously. Hot yeah, actually, so some of them. Are, are, can you go to the very bottom because I want to know which ones are actually healthy? Are the, no, are the, the least, least well, healthy. Well, actually, the, the the ones at the top are the most unhealthy because that's saying to. Oh yeah, no, actually. Yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, so Morningstar actually is my favorite. So if we go to something. It is your favorite? No, I think oh. like it's my favorite. It's like the absolute worst. So if you go to something, so fatty acids are actually pretty decent. You need to eat a thousand hot dogs of Morningstar to meet your daily intake of fatty acids. But that means there's more fatty acids in it. Yeah, none. 
And fatty acids are good for you. Fatty oh, acids are good for you. So okay. you need a thousand of those. Well, and pretty much so any, negative, like, <laughs> some fat. Uh, <laughs> if you got magnesium, <laughs> you can't. It's actually impossible. You can't yeah, you can eat a hot dog. Okay. If you got like vitamin C, I think a few of them are. They broke it. Vitamin A, a few of them have some in it, but pretty much all of them just got nothing. Well, that one, so basically, hot dogs are really bad for you. Yeah. You're telling us. <laughs> 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 Who'd have thought? So, um, so yeah. So. I'm gonna have to change my diet. It's quite disturbing. <laughs> Especially, it's just to count like the street vendor hot dogs and stuff too, right? Oh. So yeah, so pretty much all, cool. and, and as you can see, Morningstar always just the worst, you know, 130 yeah. to oh, like, What's the name of the hot dog eating contest? You could have found out how much nutrition. Can you bring that up on a website? Make sure what Morningstar, can you Google that? Morningstar, Farm, Morningstar Farms Hot Dogs. I was going to say, what hot dogs they eat in the hot dog eating competition? You can see how much nutrients they get. <laughs> <Not sure. laughs> Veggie dogs. So that's 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 oh, okay, look at that. Mmm, oh, that's delicious. Look at that. Oh, that's delicious. Yeah, fantastic. Oh, it's, sorry, no, no, it's, supposed to, it's supposed to be vegetarian as well. Well, maybe that particular one. Oh, God, all this process. And what I originally wanted to do was actually draw an individual hot dog for each and every time. So if there was 900 hot dogs, then it would draw 900 oh, yeah, different yeah. hot dogs. Yeah. And I got one of Chris Bl Love's blogs, and it was just, it wouldn't work. Because his work, I needed it to be dim uh, dimensions for it to work. But since it was a measure, it couldn't split yeah. it that way. So I had to make a lollipop instead. That's fine. Cool. Well, well, good yeah. stuff. Well done. Yeah. Really gross. Yeah, it's really gross. All right, Lee. Where's the yeah. birthday? Cool. I know it's not for Kenya I know you said some of them are just water. Um, you had like a list of beef, water, and so and so and so. The numbers are pretty much exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Part which is added an extra zero. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Um, so for example, like, on one stop? of the top ones, you put like one zero 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 four. Yeah, stop. For like a hot dog that has beef, water, or so and so and so and so. Mm -hmm. But then in the water one underneath. You'll have like one zero 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 plus an extra zero, which I'm meant for. But then it always aligned with the ones that are in the top list. Mm -hmm. So I think it might have iterated zero. Yeah, yeah, it could have. As in, like, in my values for 100, you meant? Yeah, so you know you said it's like some of them are made up of just water. Yeah, I think that was probably in the parse that they got rid of the ingredient list for it, maybe. Yeah. I mean, it was only for one though. That's why it was strange. Oh, yeah. it was for Not only one of them had just water as an ingredient. Oh no, it's because in the way it is for my row, it's like one product will have like 15 rows because I've put all the nutrients in one column. So instead of having one row per product, I have like 20 rows per product. So it'll be like product it's name. It's consistent with the adding of the extra zero underneath where it says just water. Mm -hmm. If you look at that number for just water, you'll that one zero 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 one two. Oh, that's but that's, those are my match codes. Yeah, it's just the way it goes. Yeah. Yeah. Reset. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So yeah, my um, type of food was pizza. Uh, I filtered down the database for just sort of fast food pizzas. Uh, so I thought this might be interesting, otherwise it was just a huge amount. Uh, I took the same approach as Will in uh, doing this. So, um, yeah, we had to take this tea body part, uh, mm -hmm. which looked like this, and we were after this sort of section here. Um, and the idea was to then go into each link and get the download CSV link, which look like this so from the the first links we got we had the first part and then all you needed to do is add that second part that's highlighted yep. so that was similar to what marcus did yep. yeah pretty much the strategy so oh there we go here so yeah same sort of same sort of thing as will did <laughs> yeah i know um you're not going to go on through with that <laughs> no way no way in hell um yeah uh, building that on and adding that last bit to the end to get the CSVs. Um, so you guys basically have the same, more or less the same work? Yeah, yeah really pretty similar, much. Yeah. Um, yeah, same, built the same sort of macro for the yeah. wait a second so that mm -hmm. it would give us all. And then, yeah, I just sort of had to hammer it through to get the, the CSV 
information wow. out filters. and the amount of oh, filters, yeah, 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 I know. One row just filters. What? Yeah, because oh, by this point, I, well, when I started doing those filters thinking it was just one or two and then it was another one and it was another one and by that point, yeah. Just too far to go back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the idea was to just get the useful information out um, and at the end, what did I do here? I'm not even sure what I did here. I had to get the names back again for some reason. Mm -hmm. And then here I, I um, added in the um, daily nutri daily nutritional intake values to match it all up so that I could use it for Tableau. So did you choose to go wide or deep? deep. Long? Long, yeah. So yeah, uh, and this is what I came up with. So how big a slice of your recommended daily nutritional intake does a pizza contain? So if you select pizza, um, it will Domino's. Yeah. Yeah, it will give you. Um, What's the high medium low mean? So that's just like falling into specific categories. I was doing it like does the it food package. Yeah, it oh, changes okay. per pizza, and it counts the number of those in that table. Um, I sort okay. of made them up. I couldn't find the ranges, and I also have realised that you know for some it's actually good to have a lot yeah. of it, so you'd have to do a set. I wasn't sure. It was okay. half twelve by this point. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. To be honest, nice and simple. Uh, the bars just show the percentage daily so, intake. So, so that one see. pizza has forty nine percent of your daily intake of protein. Yeah. That's quite a lot of protein. Mm. It's a cheese really? pizza as well. Look at the sodium. Yeah. Well, there's, there's lots of. There's lots of um, protein in milk. I mean, you do, yeah. I I should put a note, actually, that it's um, the RDI for adults and children for above, because there's ones for children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully children below that are not eating. Are oh, not eating dominoes, yeah. 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 Hopefully not. But, you know, you never know. Probably are. So, yeah, that's about it. Awesome. Well done. Good cool. job. All right. AJ? Okay. Um, yeah. So, like, initially, I was gonna like same problem as everyone else, just kind of get a CSV file. Um, initially, I went with Lee and then with Peter, and we did the same thing as like trying to get the CSV file out. But then the main problem was again I had to use the wait a second again, and then even then I still couldn't get my. I don't know if it's gonna run or not right now. Might not be able to run. What does yours look different? Yeah. yeah, I just have three different types because he's got throttle as well, and you have a different way to set into my phone. Yours looks cooler with the little hand holding the stuff. It's actually cool, wait a second. Yeah, it's quite cool. Yeah, but, um, yeah, yeah essentially, but then the problem was they still would have given me a lot of files, it would pull everything through. So I was struggling with that until like three or something, until um, Jamie finished his macro, and then we started using his macro to finish it. So I'm sure he's going to do a demo on this, so I'm not going to talk okay. much about it. Um, but then once, even after I had an output file, I start. I can't show it to you now because I can't seem to find it for some reason. But essentially, I added. I can show you the Excel file how it looks after. So essentially, I kind of added uh, a couple of more columns like dietary requirements. Sorry about yeah. that. Dietary, sorry. Um, yeah, dietary requirements. So essentially, what I wanted to make was uh, I don't know if any of you guys have heard, like, have you guys heard of My Fitness Pal? Yeah. Yeah. So essentially, I kind of wanted to make my version of it. Uh, and My Fitness Pal, if you guys don't know, is like a big like app like for fitness people who want to track what kind of nutrients nutrition they have, like and macros. You can and and track your what you eat and stuff. Yeah. yeah. So essentially, that's what their website looks like. Right. Um, and then yeah, it basically tracks your calories and then your nutrition, and then you know how much you calorie, and that's basically the website. Um, yeah, apparently it was sold for almost 500 million. By, like, so essentially, my it's just a calorie count. Hmm? So yeah, you just scan the barcode of your food. Yeah, and it does a calorie count for you. Yeah, so it does yeah. calories, your protein, your carbs, yeah. all that stuff. So, okay. so yeah, so I ended up doing a couple of calcs. Uh, in and your the food tablet. type was broccoli, right? Oh yeah, my food type was broccoli, but then. Because broccoli is pretty much in quite a lot of like, food, it kind of became an overall thing. So, yeah, initially it was just broccoli, but then uh, like I've got broccoli with so many, like broccoli and beef, broccoli and chicken. So, it kind of went, instead of just focusing on broccoli, and I had, 
I think I pulled like over 550 different products. Mm-hmm. So there's quite a lot of products to play around with. So it kind of became an it's food that a lot of gym people eat anyway, so it's probably works quite well. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So what you can do is like, so if you choose, uh, let's go for beef and broccoli, and let's say you had 500 grams of it, then it tells you essentially, yeah, so how many like, nutrition you got it from it and how much le- how much you suppose you like how much more food can you have to just track it for you what's uh, the percentage consumed no so that it only works when you click on it something so, oh. you know. so yeah so it just you probably make it go day. away that your yeah. action should probably make that disappear yeah yeah cool so yeah essentially it does that and then you can get it might be nutrition as well and then you can essentially oh, so click on it yeah. yeah, so you got a bit of cleaning up to do on that. Yeah. yeah, it's essentially a little bit of that, but essentially, yeah, you can just track all your food. So yeah. ideally, I can essentially make that into an app, which looks quite similar to my fitness pal. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Nice. Well done. All right, Elena. I guess Alex isn't presenting today. Did he even finish? Did he even finish? Who knows? No idea what did this slacker. I didn't I didn't see him do much just through this. Let's see Jamie pulling the Okay, so um I had gelato, which sounded fun. But it didn't end up being I don't know, presented in a fun way, which you'll see. Uh, initially I tried a few methods. I tried Farsub. Um got very, very annoyed by the selection part because it, it wasn't pulling the links. Uh, then I tried um, Lee's method. Well, Peter's method. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I get to a certain point and then uh, I realized that it's going to be uh, very hard to get all the links because I didn't have the links. So I went back and used, um, what was Kick? What was the name of the, uh, the app? This one. Link Picker. Link Picker, yeah. So this one got the, got the links very easily for me. So from there, um, Jamie had finished his macro, so I went with that plan. So basically kind of jumped from one position to another because I, didn't, I couldn't find something that worked for me. So here's the, here's the macro. It's, so Jamie's going to walk us through that macro. It's... Uh, yeah. An amazing job, I have to say. So after getting the data, let's go to the plot and show you what it is. Yeah, this is a very, very quick visualization, just shit. allowing you to pick um, a brand, I think. So it's not a company, but it's <laughs> it's just uh, their product, and you can uh, see how. Um, and what is it? What is the bar showing us? The bars uh, here we have the different uh, nutritions, right? And uh, this would be the average. So you're getting neg- you're getting negative kcals in energy. Uh, it has less. Uh, twenty one. It's yeah. twenty one percent lower than the twenty one calories lower than the average. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you, yeah. 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 you need to make that clearer then. Yeah. yeah, I know. A lot of things here are not as I as I like them to be, but. So what's, go, so what's the, but what are you comparing it to? So everything's compared to zero. What does zero mean? Uh, zero case? is average. Like all of the gelato products kind of make the make up this average. So you can see if you so can. So it's the difference. It's, so you this one, for example, has 78, 78 whatever, whatever yeah. more of vitamin A yeah. than the average gelato product. Yeah. Yeah. But okay. what's the measure on the bottom? Because you've got different it's percentage now. It's it a percentage but of the bottom. It, it says what the units are on each bar. Yeah, I know, but so what? It's just a number. It's just where it's consistent. Um, so it, it says minus 7.8 grams. Or yeah, that's all on one scale. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. You just made it sure. percentage. percentage and then mm-hmm. Or you can split them, split them by the units instead, so it would be a better comparison. Uh, well, I had a few goals in different yeah. ways to show this. So oh. this one I actually um, liked it more because has... If, if the nutrition is good for you, it yeah. would be with blue. Yeah, if it's good. bad, it would be uh, with red, so it's mm-hmm. kind of easier to see. So I kind of think that this one is right. what I actually wanted to show. So yeah. I know, probably, I'd probably sort that as well from yeah. the best for you to the worst for you. Yeah. Oh, they're still gray for some reason rather than red for some reason. 
Yeah. Uh, great because I, I didn't, um, I was doing this this morning and I didn't really Sorry. Yeah, decide okay. if they're good for you or bad. And besides, uh, they didn't really have some of the values in most of the gelatos. So yeah. they don't really have much protein as expected or fatty acids. It's hard to categorize. Cool. Good job for me. Thanks. Right. My stuff is Jamie. Macro is the Amy Hayley. Yep, so as AJ and Elaine have alluded to, I created a macro. Rather than going down the, well, I went down the past route for like 10 minutes and I realized that I, I usually scrape websites for data, so I just went straight to the website. See there's a table there, see there's ingredients there, so I just went to straight HTML pass it. So my idea was to pass one first, then create a batch macro after, then get the links and stuff. So this top section of the pass that I'm clicking on now, this was to get the table with all the different mm -hmm. like vitamins and stuff. So first I just this is just me extracting the whole table. Then I replaced this TR part of it to create the rows. I replaced the TR with pipes, which were easy to text the text column split into rows. Mm -hmm. And then from rows. Could you just use TR as your your text for some reason? Instead of putting a pipe in there, couldn't you put the 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 whole the slash TR? Oh, sometimes slash where there's big spaces and stuff, I just oh, okay. a bit easier and okay. cleaner to do it this way. Okay. Yeah. So then first of all, I just um, extracted what it was, whether so it's approximating mineral, vitamin, or li lipid. Uh -huh. Then the next pass is to get what type it is, so energy, protein, mm -hmm. total lipid. Then the next one was the unit, and then this final one, I chose which, there's two values here, so the second one's per 100 gram, the first one was per cup, so after this sort of after it was just to give it the per cup one, and I just kept the per 100 grams one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then under here, it's more just basic getting all the other information, so the first one was to get the food name, this is the ingredients, which I didn't use in the end, but it's passed out all the ingredients. The next one passed out what the name was. The problem with the names is they weren't very clear on the website, so it would just have like loads of commas, and then you didn't know which one was the company, which one's the manufacturer, mm. which actual product name. So it wasn't really great data, the name really. But so I just extracted the whole thing and then just had that as a table. So some of the, some of the names could be like three commas. I'm not sure what they are. Some could be two. Some could just be one. Then the food group. But I realised this was the same for all of mine. So it's all, all, everything was a branded food product. And finally, the manufacturer, I passed out. And as you can see here, here's all the multiple joins to make sure the data came together. Then a select just to clean everything up. And then the final output. Then after that, I ran a batch macro to get all 52. So the final output came like this. So you've got the food, mm. the manufacturer, nice and clean. the nutrient, yeah. the calorie, value, and then what type it was. And then at the bottom, for my for my dashboard, I had some exercise requirements, which gave how much energy per half hour different exercises did. Mm -hmm. Which, because my idea, my visualization was, no, I need to mac and cheese to be healthy, so I'm not going to do a healthy grade. So <laughs> I came up, I came up with a. My, my kids would argue with you about that. <laughs> <laughs> so it's called mac and cheese day. So the general premise was, is, is depending on how much mac and cheese you've eaten on your cheat day, how much exercise you need to do to make up for it. <laughs> <laughs> so here you choose you choose your exercise. So if you do yoga, <laughs> you choose your manufacturer. Uh, craft has to be craft. Craft's not on it. Remember oh, I remember right. earlier. Yeah. All so. right. What else? What else is in your list there? Let's pick something. BJ's. BJ's. Oh, Those okay. are like massive BJ's. Yeah, yeah so it's like Costco. Cheese. So, so they're they're cheese massive like. thing. <laughs> so, so if you have, have, have two hundred grams, you have to do thirty nine minutes of yoga. If you have 500 grams, 97 minutes of yoga. But what if you have, uh, nobody has just 500 grams. So I've gone up to 1,000. Yeah, 1,000. Yeah, 77 minutes of so jogging. jogging. This is 77 yeah, minutes uh, of jogging to make up. Minutes of jogging. 250 <laughs> minutes, 257 minutes of weightlifting. Hey. <laughs> 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 193 minutes of yoga. To burn, oh, to burn a kilo of, of mac and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, oh, that's it's very basic, but... But right, that's all. Food. That's all foods of BJ's, right? So what? Yeah, uh, oh, no, so they only had mac and oh, cheese, bacon. So. Oh, bacon bites. Oh man, so good. 
there's mac and cheetos let me get that that interesting mac and cheetos mac and cheetos cheers that's ridiculous cheetos mac and cheetos so that's like there's mac and cheese on the cheeto that's the bad outside all right, so that's it for uh, for now. We will be back this afternoon with more presentations. So till then, bye. Yeah. bye.